our 10th season. It's going to be an incredible ride. MasterChef is the place for people who come from nothing to become something. This truly could change my life. Last time I made churros, but it showed a lack of skill. It's a bloody churro, but I believe in you. To feel his endorsement was really something special. Tonight, it's everybody's favorite MasterChef challenge. That's right, your very first mystery box. But unfortunately, for at least one of you, it could be your last. All of you, head to your stations. Let's go. You'll have just one hour to make us a dish that just screams Chef Gordon. And remember, while you guys cook, we see and judge every detail of what you do. Right, your one hour starts now. Let's go. Yes. Okay, where are the things? Okay, you're gonna take two. I'm making a herb and Dijon crusted pork chop with braised cabbage and apples and a bright English pea puree. Where's the British peas? I know I'm gonna be able to nail it and create something that embodies Gordon. Worcestershire sauce. Heading out. The more opportunities you get to cook in the MasterChef kitchen, the stronger of a cook you Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Three incredible proteins. If they were smart tonight, they'd cook two proteins and then drop one with minutes to go. Two minutes, guys. Come on, this is it. Let's go. Taste everything and be absolutely decisive with your plating. Hurry up, Evan. Mike, your speed up. Let's go. One stunning plate. Beautiful presentations are to be expected. This looks like crap. Let's go, guys. Coming down to it. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And start hands in the air. Let's have a much closer look, shall we? Mm -hmm. Micah, you happy with the dish? Yes, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Have you cooked much pork before? Yes. I'm very comfortable with pork. Shall we? Yeah. yeah. Okay, listen, when I call your name, I'd like you to make your way down to the front here, please. First up, Micah, Kimberly, Bree, Sherry, and Dorian. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Five of you cooked the best dishes across tonight's challenge. Well done. Great job. Head upstairs. Great job, guys. Great job. Well done. Well done. Proud of y'all. Next up, Micah, please. Let's go. Making Coco Vent was definitely a risk. It is a tricky dish. But I think that it'll be, it'll, it'll be, it'll be good. Today I've made coco vin with sautéed pearl onions and mushrooms and roasted carrots. Have you ever had coco vin before? Yeah. Where did you eat it? Um, I've made it for myself. My uncle made it for me. Never eaten in a restaurant? No. Unfortunately, you picked a dish that without having tried, an original version is impossible to duplicate. It's just that particular. You've got balls of steel, young man, to try and do a coca van in 45 minutes. In France tonight, that dish takes four hours. It's got that red wine taint, but there's no sauce. Coca van is traditionally served almost in like a casserole, a ladles, red wine, rich, delicious flavor. Yes. Chicken is cooked beautifully, but it's just not a coca van. Yes, chef. Your upcoming elimination challenge will put you in a sticky situation. Oh boy. That's right, it's your first dessert challenge. Nothing should scare you guys more. What's under here is one of my favorites. It's a classic, delicious French dessert. A stunning, oh, oh. caramelized pear tartatan. Oh, yes. yes. 
This tart to tan challenge is deceptively simple. I can see a thousand ways it could go wrong. Your dough could be too thick. You could burn the caramel. You could burn your fruit. Head to your stations. Michael, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm feeling really confident. I just got to keep an eye on this. I've never made a tart to tan before, but I've made a lot of caramels. I've made a lot of caramel glazes before. One day, I want to open up a bakery. I'd love to do pastries. Oh, that caramel makes me nervous. It looks done. Doesn't it look done? Oh, yeah. Everything's going well. I'm just waiting on the caramel. I go back there, and I smell it. My heart drops to my shoes. It burned. Oh, my kiss is burning. My kiss is burning. And it's just a complete disaster. And I know I cannot serve that because it will completely ruin my dish. I'm donezo. Look at Micah's caramel. The smoke coming out of that pan now. You got this, Micah. Come on. Take a deep breath. You got it. I cannot let this send me home. What the heck is he doing? He's going to start over. I don't really know if there's enough time to make another caramel, but I have to go for it. You got this, Micah. Go, Micah. Come, on. Come on. Should be rolling out your dough, everyone. Start to fabricate the look and the aesthetic of your tart tongue. We're down to 21 minutes remaining. Come on, Subo. Let's go. Let's go. Get it in the oven. Sarah, one that in the oven the next three minutes. Let's go. Sarah, you're doing great. There we go, Micah. Way to come back. You get me nervous for a second. 18 minutes is all a tart to 10 needs. I just pray that I'm going to have it done in time. Guys, just under 18 minutes to go. Under 18 minutes to go. Great job, Micah. Great job. Good job, Micah! Woo! Great job, Micah! Even though I did my caramel again, if I ruined those peaches in that first caramel, that is going to transfer into my tart to ten. I'm just praying that acrid, disgusting petrol taste damn, did not affect my fruit. Everyone should be dusting! Dust! 30 seconds to go! Finish strong, finish, finish, finish strong, strong, finish strong! Nine. Not so confident. Come on, let's go! Ten, ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, six, five! Four, three, two, one. That was a blast! Tough challenge, right? Yes. 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 Now it's time to taste. Let's dig in. You have any trouble? Uh, uh, just a little bit. It's crispy, huh? I tried my best. Yeah. Guys, it was a tough call there tonight. Yeah, yeah. There's one that's not even a tartan. I feel everyone really showed their culinary identity with the creme glazes. Yeah, a couple of the individuals have got the fruit overcooked. Yeah. So they're actually caramelizing it too long. I think it's pretty clear who needs to go upstairs yeah. and stay down. Yeah, right. I'm with you. <clears throat> well done, all of you. Thank, Thank you, you chef. chef. Some of you baked some beautiful desserts. You will not face the elimination tonight. Next home cook continues to excel and do her state of Georgia proud. Dorian continues to wow us with her desserts. Good job. Head upstairs, Dorian. Congratulations, Liz. Yes! I'm sweating buckets. I'm watching everyone go up to the balcony. Renee, please head up to the balcony. Noah. Thank you, Chef. My heart goes from my shoes up to my throat. I'm so nervous. I just want to be safe. The catch of the day. Jamie, congratulations. Go ahead, big fella. Oh, woo. The last person heading up to the safety of the balcony. This individual started off in the weeds. But boy, did they rectify and come back strong. The crust is extraordinary. The cook on the fruit, mind-blowing. And I think we want to see this individual have a little bit more confidence about themselves because what they've just done is pretty spot on. Please make your way up to the balcony. Micah. Yeah, Micah. Well done, Micah. <laughs> Thank you. Man, i on cloud 10. I'm one step closer to where I want to be.
exciting. Oh my gosh, it's Look a racetrack. this track. eight mile track. Awesome. Crossing the road. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, it's downhill. <laughs> I am now top 10. My confidence is through the roof. We pull into this big racetrack. I'm not much of a racetrack kind of girl, but my dad really loved NASCAR and taking us to the racetracks when we were younger. And so I feel like I can handle this. Oh boy, that sounds like a bad gun V8. Oh look. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Oh my god. That's Gordon. Gordon's in orange. Oh boy. I feel like I'm in the south again. Oh the orange one's catching up. Boy, man, welcome to the MasterChef Speedway. Yeah. How did this team form? Uh, the three of us haven't lost in a team challenge yet, so we want to try to keep that streak alive. Sarah, what was the attraction over here first? Dorian and Jamie were definitely a big attraction over on this team. Micah has shown so much improvement throughout this competition. It's just awesome, and I know Suba is hungry for, for a win. Uh, both teams have a 30-second discussion and come up with a team captain. Hurry up. Circle up, guys. Well, I've worked in restaurants before. I know how a line needs to run. I know how... I really want to be team captain today. This is my time to step up and prove to the judges that even though I'm the youngest, I can lead a team to victory. Uh, my vote's for Minnesota, don't you know? Because it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. We have complete faith. We listen to everything you say. It feels amazing. Unanimously, they're choosing me, and I think it's time to prove myself. I can do this, too. You guys, who's the captain and why? Unanimously, we decided on Sherry. She's calm, under pressure, and composed, and I believe that she'll lead us to victory. Today, the challenge is absolute, utter madness. I have two kids speeding around me all the time. 30 cars speeding around you today, a bit different to kids. You guys, give us an insight to the captain and why. We decided that I'll be the captain. Wow. I've worked in restaurants before. I've been in expo. I know how the front of house needs to go. I know how back of house needs to go. I love the confidence. You're a pot washer in a restaurant. So, Micah, you are the captain of the red team. Sherry, you are the captain of the blue team. Please put on your aprons. This is the top 10 of MasterChef. The finale is just around the corner, so I have to get immunity. Now, this afternoon, you're going to have to cook for the hard-working drivers and their pit crews that are racing in today's incredible qualifier. To help us learn more, we have a very special guest. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Please welcome NASCAR Hall of Famer, Bobby Leboni. Awesome. Unreal. There he is. Unbelievable. There he is. Uh, it's so good to see you. Yeah, glad to uh, be here. These hard-working drivers and their pit crews do work up an incredible appetite. And you, today, will have to feed all of them. You two teams will have to make a hearty meal for 100 hard-working people. That's a lot of food to get out, guys. You will have 75 minutes to prep those dishes, and you better be ready to deliver on time. Today, Ron and I will be in the kitchens, making sure you stay on course, and Joe, We'll be out with the crowd, getting the feedback from this incredible lunch. But ultimately, we will be making the final decision. One team will be safe, and the other will be facing elimination. Bobby, would you please do the honors? Yes. Hope Cooks, start your oven. Let's go. Love that. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's go. I'm thinking chicken. We can yeah. keep it warm. It's going to stay juicy. I definitely was thinking polenta to go with. Okay. I need to stake my claim to this competition as somebody who's strong, willful. What are some vegetable options? Carrots go great with chicken and polenta. I love it. And listens to the people on their team. What about a uh, sauce? Yeah. We can do the nice citrus glaze. Like, I love gorgeous. that. Yeah. And truly communicates effectively. You're going to be helping Jamie with the chicken, Sarah. Dorian, roasted carrots. Suba, you're going to be on polenta. I'm going to be checking in with you. Got it. And then I'm going to be working on that citrus glaze. Red oh. team on three. One, two, three. Red, Red team. team. So, our first ever 
Master Chef Speedway. I love being on the racetrack. Now, the captain's uh, fascinating choice. The blue team put forward by unanimous decision. Sherry, what was all that about? I think that leading a team to victory is the next stage in her evolution. If we can get everything prepped, we're going to be sitting golden. She's cooking as well as she ever has. This is her time to shine. She can bring the blue team to victory. You're going to yes. need some butter cube. Let me start cubing some butter. Now, the red team, the big shock for me is that the youngest steps up at 19 and wants to lead a team with Jamie, Sarah, Dorian, and Suba. Come on. How many carrots do you want on each plate, Micah? Five. I like odd numbers. I think yeah. Micah's time has come. He's a pot washer. He has the experience of being in an industrial kitchen. Maybe with all the MasterChef experience today, he can lead the red team to victory. Red team, blue team, just over 20 minutes till judges tasting. Ready to go slow? No, no. Suba, it's got to be boiling first. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. All right. Red team. Give us an insight to the dish. What are you doing? So we have herb chicken with a citrus glaze, creamy polenta, and tri-colored carrots. How you split the team up? Who's doing what? Super right now is working on the rosemary, and then Sarah's on the chicken, Dorian is working on the carrots, and Jamie's trying to figure out the polenta right now. And how are we roasting the carrots? We blanched them, and then now we're roasting them. Good. Uh, I want to see a dish in eight minutes, please. Yes? yes sir. Bird chef. Yes, sir. Thank you. Eight minutes, guys. Yes, sir. Look. That cloud over here is coming towards us. That looks oh, ominous. Guys, it's raining. Oh my god. It's pouring. And there's no way we can make all of this chicken in an oven. So we need to figure out something really fast so that our whole dish doesn't go down the drain. Guys, let's go. Let's get those covers on. Cover yeah. the kitchens. Cover the kitchens up. Let's do that. Guys, can we get these over? It's a little I wet, but you're, you're, you'll be all right now. Oh, my God. Ah! Thank Yay, you. Yay, to the rescue. Thank you. Watch out, guys, please. Stop chopping for two seconds. Everything is slippery, so now we got to be really vigilant. we got to be really safety conscious. Watch out. Yes, sir. Red team, blue team. Two minutes, guys, until the judge is tasting. Yes, chef. Rain is not stopping play, OK? Right, uh, Michael, describe the dish. We have a herb chicken with roasted carrots, a goat cheese polenta, and a citrus glaze. So visually, it looks nice. Um, carrots look a bit undercooked. A little nice. bit too much crunch in them, yeah. They're yeah. still a little bit All raw. Right. So who made the polenta? Jamie. The polenta's good. It's cooked well. It needs more fat. It needs more goat cheese. It needs to be lifted up, OK? Perfect. Who cooked the chicken? That would be Sarah. First, she put grill marks on it, and then she finished it in the oven. The chicken cook is beautiful. All right. Up the seasoning, it, OK? And just get that polenta richer. Someone has to take care of the seasoning. Spice up the chicken, fatten up the polenta, get it right, make it yours, own it, and then own the responsibility of it. Yes, Joe. Good Joe. start, though. On your Thank way. You, chef. All right, guys, team meeting right here. Sarah, they said the cook was excellent, but they want a little bit more spice, a little bit more seasoning. OK, what are you thinking? Uh, maybe just a little bit of cayenne. Bring it up. OK, I don't think we have cayenne, but I'll check. They have Cajun seasoning back there, too. Cajun. Just, just a little just bit. Just a smidgen, just yep. to give it a little taste. The carrots are just a little underdone. OK. And then Jamie, they just want a little bit more butter and more goat cheese. But they said that this was a really excellent dish, and I'm confident that we're going in the right direction. OK, now. let's go. Okay. This is a lot of pressure. Joe basically tells me if this dish is under seasoned, your head's on the chopping block. But we can correct seasoning, and I will taste every single element before we put it on a plate. I got this. How's this new batch of sauce tasting? You taste it and you tell me. Don't let nothing go past you without checking it. Delicious. Bam. Dorian, I love you. My question for the red team is, can Micah take responsibility for the seasoning that needs to happen in that dish? Yeah. Does he have the palate? Are these all fully seasoned? Did you put them? No, not yet. I was getting these first. All right. Well, that's the issue. He needs to be strong with Jamie. Make sure that plenty is seasoned beautifully. Sarah, could the chicken season it beautifully? So that needs the voice of the captain to step up. The captain to step up, the red team have lost. Micah, how's this consistency looking right here? That's perfect. Red team, blue team, our drivers are about to hit the track. We got this. Come on, go, 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 go. Five laps to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There's plenty of space in that oven. Let's get them in. Hot pan hurting. Micah, start visualizing who's going to help you dress the plates. Sarah's going to help me with plating. 
Sarah, I'm gonna go get the place set out, yep. yeah? Make sure that you're facing all the M's the same way, Micah. Yep. You know what, Micah? What's going well, on? She's been cooking this chicken the whole time, right? Yeah. Let's not move her from something she's already doing right. I trust you, I trust her, I want her up front. That one needs to be flipped really soon. You got them all? Yep. We can start plating now. What's the first wave? How many dishes are we doing? 15, chef. That's why it's important. One person cooks the chicken so they know everything's there. Yes, yes, I don't like handing that over when you've cooked it so beautifully, I, I Sarah. I agree. Put him up there with you. I can finish these. He can plate. Jamie, I got you. You ready? I'll, I'll show she's you. She's been doing a good chicken. We need to let her keep doing it. But also, chicken. in her mind, she knows the first tray, the second tray, the third tray. So I never change that over. Exactly. It's catastrophic, OK? Micah, being a good captain, Says, you know what? You guys are right. Let's keep Sarah where she is because she's doing a great job. Smartest move we can make all day. I'm gonna you take the sauce and you're just gonna do a little ring, little ring, and okay. then the last thing to go on is gonna be the chicken, yeah? Okay. Red team, blue team, they're on their final lap. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, Come on everyone. Red team, blue team. The race is over and our diners are arriving. Let's go. Guys, this is it. Let's start putting it to second and third gear, guys. Come on, come on, we can do this. Here they come. Let's go. We need to have those done right now. Here they come. Make sure we check that chicken, guys. I don't want raw chicken. Let's go. Hurry up. Hey, hey. We're going to see about um, what have you got great race. Hey, uh, we have the most amazing chicken on the OK. Uh, yes. Please, pick up the chicken. All right. Next door for the salmon. Hey guys, let's get excited. The diners start lining up and I'm having like flashbacks to when I worked in fast food and we just had lines out the door. And I kick it into that third gear. Gentlemen, if you see chicken on the plates with the glaze, these are finished plates. Now we've got a system going here, yes? Please enjoy. Thank you very much, good luck. If this doesn't win, I don't know what will. Um, I'm extremely proud of it. Guys, I got chicken in my hand, Suba. Go the other way, Suba. Suba, we are moving this way. Why are you going that way? Working with Suba is like having my three kids in the kitchen trying to help. Can I serve these? Sarah, can yeah. I serve these? Uh, no, you need to put these on a smaller tray in the oven. It's frustrating, but you just have to remember some people communicate differently. Suba, I thought you were doing the sauce. Yeah, I am getting the sauce. The sauce is right here. Oh, That's okay. olive oil. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, we have no. no backup. Please, God. He is a good cook. He just doesn't do well on team challenges. Suba, for the last time, put it down and work with two hands. Okay. I can't have you holding one thing and just going one at a time. Okay. We're going right, to be too slow. Up. OK, all right. Heaven help me. We need salmon. Blue team. Yes, chef. I guess they're standing here with a chicken in their hands, guys. Suba, Suba, put this in the oven. Please. Okay. Micah, how many plates you got there? You got four pieces of chicken. You guys are plating food without the chicken being ready. It shouldn't work like that. I need chicken hot. Guys, we need to have more chicken. Guys, where's your chicken? You got more in the oven, right, Jamie? It's in the oven. We're just waiting on it right now. Everything's getting cold sitting up there, waiting on chicken. We're not just behind the eight ball. We're behind the whole pool table at this point. I need chicken over here. I need this done really quickly or I'm going to send it back. Check the oven around the back. Give me some chicken right now. Micah, take those carrots, put it back there. We're starting over. Let's not serve Yes, chef. Aron makes us ditch 15 of our plates because we didn't have chicken out. I'm not serving these, OK, guys? We got to reheat these. We have to be careful because a slight slip up will send you home. You're plating food and you don't know how much chicken you got, OK? Me. You got to make sure all your product's nice and hot, OK? Boy, this is not a race. They're the racers, OK? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What happened? He put it right underneath the char and burnt the out of oh it. Oh, my God. That's OK. Hey, Come there's on, three chickens oh in gosh. here. It, we're not serving it, all right? What? We ain't going to serve it. No, we I, know. Have, I, just, we I hope we have enough. I hope hey. we have enough. It is very frustrating. Suba's not even cooking chicken, and he managed to burn it. I don't know how that's even possible. We don't have that much. We needed that. OK, Sarah, can I give you a hand in turning the milk? No, yeah. no, no, no. no. I'm good. Keep your hands off my chicken. All right, guys, last couple of plates. Let's be consistent. OK, here we go. We need four more plates, Suba, four, four more, more plates. plates. Hey, yeah. this is the last of the chicken. Yes, Sarah, that's it. Oh. Sarah, guess what? What? We're done, baby. Look, this plate was killer. I'm proud of every single one of you. This is the type of energy, the type of passion that I appreciate. Best team I've been on yet. Amen. Same. Red team on three. Team one, on. two, three. Red, Red team. team. Come on. Yeah. All right, guys. Nice dishes. We got there. We had issues. 
Mixed results. The blue team, skin on, skin off. I mean, you saw it. Obviously, we had some temperature issues on the salmon. Yeah. Red team. Uh, Were you happy to season on the chicken? Yes. Because I mean, it was a little bit bland to begin with. Yes, I think that idea of the Cajun season, I think that helped lift it up. But we have a winner. We have a winner. Yeah. Let's go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge round of applause for both our red team and our blue team, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, red team, blue team, very difficult job today. One of these teams, they had enough gas in the tank to go the full distance. Today's winning team, Bobby, will you do the honors, please, sir? Absolutely. The team that will not face elimination. The team that we judge to be best. What? What's about to happen? The winning team is... The red team! Good job, guys. Good job. I'm proud of all of you. Good job, guys. We finally did it. This is Dorian's first win. This is Sarah's first win. We did this together, and I'm absolutely on cloud nine. Sorry, guys. Red team, congratulations. Absolutely brilliant. Great job. The consistent, strong, but more importantly, they loved your chicken. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Blue team, A, you're inconsistent. B, you had raw food. Red team, well done. Now, go and say hello, high five, yeah. and meet some incredible drivers, Thank you. Thank you. mechanics, pit crew, that loves your food. Off you go. Finally, I'm on a winning team. Thank you so Thank much. You it feels absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome back to the MasterChef Kitchen. Now, yesterday you fed race car drivers and their hardworking pit crews an incredible lunch. Yes, it was a tight race, but one team did take that checkered flag. That was the red team, captained by Micah. Well done. Great job, guys. Good job, Micah. Thank you. Good job, Micah. Thanks, guys. Uh, Micah, youngest in the competition, led your team to victory, made some pivotal decisions. How do you feel? I feel really good. I'm very proud of our team. We pulled it together and we served a dish that I'd be proud to serve anytime, anywhere. I saw a lot of discipline across the red team. There was a voice in the captain, and even though the captain may not have made every decision perfectly, you just kept your head down and you did it. It was almost like in the bag because you stayed with your structure. And then we had the blue team. 